Hey beauties, how we doing? How we feeling? I haven't said that one in a long time. So I thought I'd go ahead and start this vlog randomly. Today is a Thursday. It's Friday Eve. It's, I don't know, like 6.09 in the evening. And I am headed to Target. Not to do a curbside pickup because they won't let me get this watermelon a curbside pickup. I want a regular size one because those are on sale right now for like $3.49 and the minis are regular price at like $3.99. So I'm gonna get a regular size watermelon. But I ate that mini so fast, y'all, that I think the regular size is gonna be a okay. So just saying, it's all good. I have this new way of eating right now and I want to see how it does with me as far as like just monitoring my weight. No, 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 no. I am not trying to lose weight like like that. Like I I do want to drop about four to five pounds, but not like I'm gonna eat healthy. And if I don't drop the four to five pounds, that's okay because I'm gonna make sure I still have my protein and all that good stuff because I have to because of my past situation. So just throwing that out there. But y'all have to say this because my bag right now she's so party all nice and organized and nice and neat and I may not ever see this again for the next 20 years until I clean her out again I'm just saying I just did a what's in my handbag clean out after vacation video yeah quite an interesting video to do so y'all make sure y'all watch that if you haven't already because you know it helps a girl out when you watch her videos and even more so helps a girl out when you thumbs them up and you've already hit that subscribe button. So I'm just saying y'all, hit it, click it, comment. <laughs> I kinda like that. So all right, so let's head over to Target. I'm gonna have to go inside and carry that watermelon out. I'm not real thrilled about that, but girl gotta do what she gotta do. Okay, beauties, y'all did the Target thing, did the five below thing. So I decided that I would do a very quick little car haul for y'all. I kind of like doing these every now and then, you know? So we're gonna start with Target. My hand smells like incense. We'll get into that in just a minute. I'm almost out of all my candles in my house. So I am now trying to buy a few candles. Candles are expensive. So I have to buy them in stride, like one here and there. because it hurts to buy a lot of candles so i saw this one it's called rustic palo santo for some reason i'm wondering if this is what i already have at home but in the bigger version i cannot remember but i know i have candle at home no it's not because i think i got that from world market but anyway that's what it looks like and i love the little gold detail on the lid i actually want to get one of these maybe for my kitchen eventually but ten dollars a pop couldn't do more than one at a time so I needed some new deodorant and I'm truly trying to use, I don't know, what do you call it? I, I want to say the healthy deodorant, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Like the paraben free, the aluminum free deodorant, which I've been buying the secret, which is totally fine. But today I decided I wanted to try something different. This one is like eco-friendly. I'm not an eco person, but it is um but um and this one is aluminum free free of parabens with essential oils dermatology tested recyclable 99 percent plastic free so it is the scent of what is it what is it what is it um rose water ginger i love the way it smelt in the store i'm all like smelling <laughs> i was literally getting ready to tell y'all to smell it oh my god that's when you know you're close to your subscribers when you try to get them to smell something through, through the phone. It smells really good. I'm gonna try it, y'all, and see if it works. Hopefully, I won't be stinking at work tomorrow because I'm gonna put it on tomorrow. Then I bought this cute little headband because I have this little dress that I really like. I think this would kind of go with the dress. I don't know for sure. I gotta look at the dress again. I think the color in the dress is like kind of like a creamy off-white, but I think this will go well enough. So I got that little cute little headband moment. 
Then I got some more of the Botanica oils for my little burners in my home. This is the lavender. It's the French lavender and honey blossom. This is my favorite scent. I get this one every time I buy them. I don't buy these very often. I keep forgetting that I have the little burners in my house and I really need to go ahead and buy a couple of those so I can, like a couple of the packs so I can have more. And what's, oh, I was thinking, what's in this? This is an avocado. It's pretty hard, but I, I probably won't need it till Sunday. So I got a hard one for that purpose. So that was all I got at Target, with the exception of a big watermelon. That was my little Target haul. And then I had to go to Five Below because I debated on going right now and not. I have to hurry up and get home, y'all, because I got to go for my walk. But I went to Five Below because my little oasis is like everything to me. I just enjoy it so much. I had my little non-alcohol wine glass full of stuff last night sitting on my patio eating some watermelon it felt so bougie so relaxed i just love feeling that peace of mind and to include with my peace of mind i have started to burn incense which back in the day i remember when i used to burn incense all the time like like i don't know like probably like when i was like 13 14 that was like a thing you burn incense and i had them burning in my room like i was all about that life and then, you know, I don't know, you just, I don't know, I just didn't do it anymore. It was a time that I do feel like I was doing it with my son's father in my early first marriage. I think maybe we did. I don't know. I don't remember. But anyway, long story short, I got some incense from Bible. I like the little bag that they get. That's really cute. Little reusable moment. Really, really nice. I saw these. Now, I've not seen these before. They've been in there. I'm sure I just probably didn't know to look for them. But this is the Outdoor Garden Bug Repellent Incense Sticks. And they're really big. They're like this big. And I got the Lavender and Tea Tree Moment. So I think I'm going to enjoy trying those. And then I got this little case that holds the incense. And it comes with 10 incense inside of it. I don't know what type of incense it is. It says lemongrass. So that means that's the scent. I don't know. Lemongrass. Maybe that's the scent of the incense. I don't know. Oh no, this one's broken. Right? Yeah, it is broken. Okay, so we're gonna run back in the store real quick and see if we can't get that taken care of because this one is broken. Yeah, that's not supposed to be like that. Because what would be the purpose of that? And I got some different, is it fragrances? different scents I guess of incense uh, that these are like four four dollars so got those and I'm gonna run back in there real quick and return this and get me another one because I'm hoping that they do that well they have to I just bought it like five minutes ago all right y'all I'll be right back y'all I feel like a fool so I thought this whole thing, like it opened up and the whole case was an incense holder, but it's not. It actually has a place inside that you can burn the incense as well as this is, where is it at? Let's see, let's figure it out so I can show y'all how I made a fool out of myself. That's actually where you store your incense. <laughs> I was like, oh my bad. I'm just used to the regular incense burner thing like that, but this is kind of cool. And I ended up switching the scents because they, that is the different scents that they have. So I ended up getting a different scent after all. And this scent is called Nag Champa, Nag Champa, Nag Champa. I don't know. But anyway, let's get going. James just called me, so I need to call him back. He's at a Cardinals baseball game in Atlanta right now, y'all. There's something wrong with that picture. <laughs> I'm over here working. Nah. <laughs> but I'm happy for him. He loves the Cardinals. So he's in his own element right now. Hello. 
Hello, my beautiful, gorgeous friends. How are you today? It is Friday. It is actually 3.30 in the afternoon, and I'm not gonna do my weekend song. I don't know why. Well, I've been off work for a while, and I kind of feel like, I don't feel like doing it because it was a short week, and I'm working part-time. I think that's what it is, because I'm working part-time, that I'm like, but you know what, let's just do it. Because now that I brought it up, I'm like, what the hey, girl? Are you ready for the weekend, baby? Are you ready for the weekend, baby? Are you ready for the weekend, baby? I am. <laughs> Yay! Okay, so anyway, I am literally sitting here in front of the post office. And I just got a post office box here. So I am going to be letting go of my post office box. I think it ends the end of this month. I'll check it before this video go up and I'll put it here. But I think it's July uh, that it expires, I think. If you have anything, a card or whatever to ever send me, you'll be now sending it to my new post office box, which is literally right down the street from where I live. The other one is just hard to get to. I've been to. kind of contemplating on, should I keep the box, should I not? But I do get mail, so I guess it's worth it because I do get enjoy when I get my cards and things from everyone. I have a new mailbox number and it will be here and it will be now in the description box. All right, so we gotta get on the road because I'm actually headed back to the university. There is an event going on. It's a going away party, I guess, whatever for Stephanie, which is one of the ladies, or well, the lady, that um, convinced me to come work at the university. So she has now taken another job elsewhere. She's leaving the university, so I'm assuming she's taking a new job. It's from four to six. I'm looking forward to, not really looking forward to saying goodbye, because I love her, and I loved working with her, and I'm gonna miss her, but we are definitely gonna keep in touch because we have a friendship that's established from working together so and I haven't worked with her in a while because I went to work for her temporarily as a temp and then I ended up getting hired onto the university but a totally different department so I don't work with her anymore but we do keep in touch and I'm so excited to you know see her today and say goodbye and wish her well wishes and all that fun stuff so headed to the university now and I will check in with y'all later. Hello friends happy Sunday Sunday afternoon, it's almost 1.30 and I'm getting ready to head out. I'm going to see Terry. I'm headed to her place in New Braunfels. I have not seen Terry in almost a month. Yeah, I saw, she drove me to the airport and I haven't seen her since then. So yeah, so I'm excited about seeing her. We're gonna be taking some pictures. I don't know, well, I guess I can share it. She won't mind. We're going to set her up with a little online dating situation. So I'm super excited about that for her. I know I've got a glare going on there. I apologize, but yeah, right now the sun is just really real. So we're just gonna go with it, okay? But I am carrying my MCM bag and I am wearing this cute little dress. It is from Target, it is Terry Cloth. So fun fact about me, I grew up in the world of Terry Cloth. Like, I can remember having terry cloth shorts, terry cloth little tankini type things. Um, I can remember having a terry cloth robe. I can remember having, not too long ago, I had purchased it for, well, I say not too long ago. It's actually several years ago, but I got rid of it not too long ago. And now I'm kind of regretting that I got rid of it because I had this cute little dress that was terry cloth. It was uh, Juicy Couture and I'd gotten it from Ross. Terry cloth was not the thing at the moment because it took me back, I bought it, and then when I was moving and getting rid of stuff, I got rid of the dang dress. Now tell me why, I don't know, but I did, and now I regret it. So, yeah. They have several colors in this little dress at Target. They're $20. I kinda wanna go back and get another color, cause I love, I just love terry cloth. And you know, some people think that terry cloth is just to be worn in the house or like at the beach. Because I am a terry cloth girl, I grew up when terry cloth was very, very popular. Like, remember when they had the terry cloth like sweatsuits? I think terry cloth can be worn anywhere. Comment below and tell me what you think. So, anyway, I have it on today. I'm getting ready to go hang out with Miss Terry. We're gonna take some pictures for her. I kind of want Mexican food today, but I'm kind of thinking, oh my God, I don't really need to be eating out anymore. But I have not had any Mexican food 
in quite a while and uh, this girl loves Mexican food. We're gonna decide what we're gonna do as far as maybe having some lunch out together today. But anyway, yeah, so let's go see Terry. Ah! Okay, beauties, I'm actually sitting at my old post office and I got the renewal notice, which I knew that I would. So it's due by July 31st. And for some reason, I thought that it was more than this because it's saying for six months, it's only $65. I know I paid more than that the last time. Interesting. But I've already ordered a new post office box. So, yeah. So, I'm going to have a post office box in San Antonio. I think I told you that earlier in this vlog. So, no more coming over to the Cibolo post office to get my mail. So, please make sure you, if you have any intentions to send me any cards or anything like that, that you are addressing it to my new post office box because I think I'll come here like maybe around the end of the month like what is today oh gosh my schedule is gonna be so tight but I don't know if I have to turn my keys in I don't know how that works but um I'll figure that out but and check it one final time but I haven't gotten mail in my mailbox now in so long I don't fear that I'm gonna get any and miss out on it or lose it. I don't know what happens when you, I don't know. I'm, I guess I need to drive over here one day when the post office is open to find out like what I need to do as far as the box itself. Like I turn in the keys and then can I do a 40 of my mail from one post office box to another? Can you do that? I don't know. We'll find out. By the way, I am having a little afternoon snack. I'm still on my way to Terry's. I haven't gotten there yet. But I was hungry and I thought I'll run to Sonic and grab something really quick. And these are, what are these called? Pickled fries. I, it's a summer thing for them. They're pretty good. Mm. The pickle's a little bit tough, but so when you bite it, you know, the skin, you kind of have to force the skin you know I don't know if I'm saying that right but anyway now let's go to Terry's get to the vlog I just made it back home after we had our dinner we ended up walking into Tuesday mornings for a little bit because we felt so full, we wanted to kind of walk things off. And then we ended up in HEB. Uh, there's a new HEB in New Braunfels. If you're in the San Antonio or Texas area and you're familiar with New Braunfels, but they built this huge HEB. I was expecting more, I think, as far as like household stuff. So I wasn't as impressed as I wanted to be, but um, we had fun, you know, it was good. But I wanted to share this with you all. I'm not really doing a haul, but I just wanted to share this with you all. Uh, you know how H-E-B, if you live in this area, you're familiar with H-E-B, but they always have like little coupons all throughout the store. So today, if you bought uh, the Houston Bland Medium Roast, you got the Houston Bland Cold Brew for free. Boy, that was hard to say for some reason. I was like getting my words tied up. But anyway, so I don't know if it's something that I would like because y'all know how I feel about coffee. I like the strong stuff. So I don't know if this will actually be a good cold brew, but I was like, hey, you know, it might be something fun to have and to try just to see since it was for free. You know, I mean, hey, free is good. So anyway, it talks about you put water in a pitcher and something about a pack. I've never done this before, but maybe we'll do this and try it and I'll tell you all how I feel about it. So the purpose of me buying this coffee, you might wonder because I don't have a regular coffee pot. Well, I kind of do, but I don't use it. Um, actually, it's still in storage. Is it? I think it is. I need to go look for it because I, I think I actually want to bring it into my home so that I can have it in case I ever want to. But anyway... For our river trip, I think I said lake in one of my vlogs, but it's really us going to the river. Um, I'm responsible for coffee. And so I was told to have a medium, a dark, and then uh, Sumatra, which is the Starbucks brand. So I'm going to bring a bag of this. And then I saw this dark roast. And y'all know, if you've been around... 
from way back when. Girl was in love with some Seattle's Best Coffee. And I haven't had Seattle's Best Coffee in a while because I haven't been using my actual Keurig, which is making me kind of think now I want to try some in my Keurig. You know, maybe I'll buy some. But I saw this, and this is the 6th Avenue Bistro um, Dark Roast. So I thought, wow, this might be good. So um, I got that, and now I just need to go pick up a bag of Sumatra. And yeah, and then I think I will have all the coffee that we need. So, oh, and then I wanted to show you this little glass. So this is plastic. It looks very pretty. I bought two of these. I wanted to have them for the patio. I wanted to have two glasses that would be able to go out on the patio. And now that I think about it, I probably should have bought the little like, I guess like alcohol glasses or orange juice glasses, but James drinks alcohol in the little short ones and they match this. And now I'm kind of thinking I should have bought two of those for him to have on the patio as well. Um, because then we don't have to worry about these breaking if they fall over. But I like them because they look very pretty and I can have my coffee or my ice water in them. And yeah, so I wanted to share that with y'all. So like I said, I did get two of those. And then this rest of this stuff is just, you know, the normal stuff. And this was some stuff that Terry gave me. And I, I guess I'll just show you this because this is it. This is my leftover chips and salsa from our dinner tonight. But I picked up the margarita mix and I picked up the um, pina colada mix. And I'm going to take these with me on my trip. So I'm going to put all this stuff in our little bag for our trip uh, to the river. Mm -hmm. 